Consider a metal. Consider, consider a metal rod. Metal rod. Metal rod. Consider a metal rod. Metal rod. Consider a metal rod. So P is applied load on metal rod. P is applied applied load on metal rod. Applied load on metal rod. Metal rod. Rod. Metal rod. A is cross sectional area of metal rod. A is A is cross sectional area of metal rod. Cross section. Cross sectional. Cross sectional area of metal rod. It is cross sectional area of metal rod metal rod then l it is length of metal rod l it is length of metal rod metal rod delta l it is change in dimension of metal rod delta l it is change in length of metal rod due to external applied load change in length of metal rod change in length of metal rod metal rod okay. change in length of metal rod and it is it is modulus of elasticity of metal rod modulus of elasticity of metal rod elasticity of metal rod modulus of elasticity of metal rod metal rod okay so now work done is equal to right on work done is equal to force into work done is equal to force into deformation force into deformation deformation force into deformation okay so force it is here we will take average load 
it will be the average load into average load into deformation deformation average load into deformation so average load it is p by 2 average load it is p by 2 average load it is p by 2 p by 2 and deformation it is delta l 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 so now so delta l is equal to we know that so delta l is equal to so first of all we know that c is equal to strain is equal to delta l by l we know that strain is equal to it is delta l by l so del, delta l is equal to it is strain into l that is e into l e into l e into l e into l so that's why you can write on p by p by 2 p by 2 p by 2 p by 2 into delta it is e into l e into l okay so we know that also stress is equal to stress is equal to it is p by a stress is equal to it is p by a p by a p by a then p is equal to p is equal to means it is p is equal to sigma into a p is equal to it is sigma into a p into it is sigma into a we can write down this one it is so it is 1 by 2 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 so p it is sigma into a p it is sigma sigma into a sigma into a into e into l e into l okay so we know that we can write down also so e is equal to first of all e, capital mod, modulus of elasticity is equal to e is equal to sigma by e sigma by e sigma by e means that is e is equal to it is sigma by sigma by capital e that is trace by modulus of elasticity trace by modulus of elasticity okay so put this value also here is equal to is equal to 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 into stress into stress into stress into so first of all put value of e here sigma by e sigma by sigma by capital e capital e capital e into a into l a into l so a into l it is value a into l it is value so we can write down here a into l it is value so we can write down strain energy so work done is equal to so it is sigma square sigma square sigma square so a into l it is v into v sigma square into v divided by 2e divided by 2e divided by 2 into e okay so work done is equal to it is oh, work done is equal to strain energy strain energy strain energy work done is equal to strain energy okay so strain energy that is denoted by we can state it strain energy strain energy is equal to capital U is equal to sigma square 
sigma square v divided by 2 e sigma square sigma square v divided by 2 e divided by 2 e. this is strain energy okay 2 e 2 e this is strain energy okay. so modulus of resilience it is strain energy per unit value modulus of resilience that is equal to strain energy per unit volume strain energy strain energy per unit volume per unit volume per unit volume that is means it is modulus of resilience is equal to Modulus of resilience. Modulus of resilience is equal to sigma square v divided by two e. Sigma square divided by two e. Divided by two e. Divided by two e. Divided by two e. Okay. So this one it is derivation of strain energy when gradually applied load. 